So I'm currently getting ready to move house and during moving, I found my old laptop. Now this laptop here, I have made a video on it on how to make a laptop a home server. And it was great, but then I eventually I thought that it was dead. I actually thought it didn't work anymore. Um, I thought they had no memory and no hard drive, but it turned out everything was integrated. So what that means is I'm actually going to bring this back into my home lab, and I'm just going to explain some use cases that I'm going to use for it, and maybe give you some inspiration that if you do have a laptop laying around, some good use cases of how I'm going to use this, and it maybe will give you some motivation to, you know, pick up that old laptop that you have laying around and give it some life and, you know, and just use it and do some learning with it. So before we jump into uh, me just showcasing the laptop, we'll jump in and I'll show you what I've got running on it and how I plan on using it. But this is a Acer Travelmate, uh, what is it? It's a P645 series. Now, I got this when I was doing some, in well, it wasn't really internship work. While I was still a student studying, I was helping out and contracting at a hospital. And they were giving these away and... Uh, I picked one up and honestly, this thing has been working great. It's, you know, I think it's got four gig integrated uh, memory and it's got 500 gigabyte. Uh, I think it's an M2 like SSD drive onto the board. And this thing is great. And the parts are crazy. You can get all sorts of parts for it. So this is an awesome sort of laptop that I've got laying around. Um, so what I'm going to do is let's jump onto it and I'm just going to sh explain how I'm using it, what I've got running on it and just, you know, my plans for the future for it. So I've just connected to the laptop. So this is uh, no machine, which is the software I'm using. And I've just remotely connected to the laptop so I can show it on the screen here. So let's just do a bit of an overview of this laptop and what I'm using it for and why I'm keeping this laptop around. So I've installed Arch Linux on it and it's not just so I can say I use Arch, Arch Linux by the way. It's it's a, it's lightweight and I just like to use it and it's just a, a distribution that I'm familiar with. But a key thing I want to talk about is the hardware here. So you can see that it's running a 4-core i5-4200U. Now this is an older CPU, right? And it's got 4 gigs of RAM, but like I said, it's got room for expansion. And then it's just got basic Intel HD graphics. So what am I going to use this for? Now... Again, I'm, I'm talking about what I'm wanting to use this for to hope maybe to give you some inspiration on, so, on how you can use older laptops as well. So there's a few things that I'm going to use this for. One, if you're interested, I am more than happy to start a series of talking about Linux distributions and reviewing some and stuff like that. So if that's something you're interested in, that's what I can use this for as well. I don't have to worry about setting up VMs. This is going to be running on bare metal, so the performance will be a lot better as well. Sure, it's older, but running things on bare metal will always be uh, faster and more responsive than running things uh, via virtualization. The other thing is this is going to be my way of just testing, right? So Yes, I have my MacBook. Yes, I have Proxmox with virtual machines, but I don't want to just, you know, that it's not so easy to just wipe things like that because my sandbox server and all of that, I want up and ready and I don't want to actually break those even though they're called sandbox server. There's stuff on there that I, you know, I'm testing. I don't want to lose it. So having a laptop like this where if something did break, if I had to wipe it, it's no big deal. And that's, you know, the benefit of having something like that. I can put a new Linux distribution on it to play around and test. I can run Docker containers on this, you know, that I'm not too sure about. And, you know, is it going to work? Is it not? Is it going to be messy? Whatever. I can install software and play about it. And then if I like the way it works, then I can look about installing it on my main servers, right? This is like a good testing ground and a good, you know, it's just that real sandbox laptop. I can wipe things, install things and just play and learn. And I think that's a good thing that a lot of people need, right? Like, you want something where if it breaks, it's, it's no big deal. I and mean, when I break, I mean like breaking the, the distribution, the operating system on it. If you break it, just wipe it. It's no big deal, install something else. And that's what it's going to be for. And something else that I want to show you is the parts that are available for this thing. Like, it's pretty crazy. So if I come in here and we look up the Acer TMP645, You've got the batteries. I can upgrade the screen. So this is the standard screen here, which is 1366. But there's 1920 by 1080 displays that I've seen on here. You've got boards. This here is for adding the hard drive. I need this, right? It doesn't actually have it. I can get it for $44 and add a whole new uh, drive expansion. You know, there's top shelves. There's all, the, all of these parts that you can get for these things. Um, and, you know, they'll just keep going. And that's the great thing about these. It's... There's like a level, there's a difference, right? There's there's hoarding <laughs> and just keeping things for the sake of keeping them or having something like that that 
you know you can really just throw everything at it and not have to worry and it's just that ultimate workhorse where you can expand it keep using it until it literally cannot run anything anymore and yeah looking on ebay here's one here so this is 154 nzd so what is that so if i put in 154 nzd uh, nzd to usd what is that that's under 100 bucks you can get one of these laptops and you know it'll be like that ultimate workhorse and i guess that's all i'm trying to say is that you know having a cheap little laptop has its perks and has its bonuses rather than just tossing it aside especially if you are running a home lab now this has just been a quick random rant video just talking about the laptop that i've found and it's also just a, a video where i can just give you an update on you know i am moving so i might have i might not have videos out on my normal schedules but i am looking forward to it because i can have a dedicated office where i can set it up for the videos and start doing some really good quality content uh, which i'm excited for and we can really get something set up and i can do some cool reviews and all of that good stuff so i'm excited um thank you so much for all the support if you've got any suggestions on ideas on what i can use this laptop for let me know what if you've got an old laptop what are you using it for that'd be awesome to see jump into the youtube comments and talk about it or join the discord more than happy to have a conversation but until then i will see you in the next video uh, i might be in my new place by then or i might have one more video here i don't know we'll see what happens but anyways have a great one and i'll see you in the next one Bye bye